Good. Yeah, not bad. Uh, amazing. It's kind of hot this time of year. I think usually it's hot out here. But uh, you know what? I, I, I like our team's intensity. Uh, I like how it came out and worked. And uh, you know, we're really into our normal game week schedule. It's our first game week. And that's what's a little bit different for us, you know. I mean, I, yeah, coming off a preseason camp, then a short week, then a long week, and now it's our regular game week, so it's good to get back into that routine. You, you talked about how Sunday and Tuesday were critical days for you after, you know, Saturday's loss. You know, they could have gone one of two ways. Are you happy with the way they responded? Yeah, I mean, today's a work day. Right. Today's a work day, so not a raw raw day. And, uh, I mean, I think our guys have worked. And, um, you know, you're focusing on the game plan, playing a 3-4 team, so things are a little different than – some of the other things we play, so you got to clean that up offensively. And uh, you know, I mean, they are a, a you know a, a traditional high formation team, which is a little different than what we've played the last couple weeks. So you know, just getting getting used to making those adjustments schematically. You talk about leadership and guys being more vocal. Have you noticed anything today? They're working at it a little bit. There's some guys working at it. Purnell's, you know, I mean, our captains are, are trying to work at it to continue to do it. You know, uh, you know, I think part of it, a lot of guys worry about themselves worry about their personal performance uh, you know and they, a lot of them lead by example and, and that's not always good enough you got to go to after and be a vocal leader as well talk about the offensive line struggling with communication Have anybody stepped up there as far as trying to lead things uh, they all are I mean they all are hey, when you have that experience you don't need one guy to stand to be the leader you just need all of them to talk and communicate about what's going on did Marcus and Brandon run today yeah they ran today and, and we'll see I mean looked okay it looked okay trainers were watching them and, and they did some things and uh, you know, I mean, that's going to be an evaluation throughout the week. They're, they're, they're going to be a lot different Saturday than they are today for sure. So. How's, it, how's it affect you in preparation of the tight end spot? Hey, you know, it's, it's tricky, um, you know, with, I mean, using a lot of, you know, two tight ends and all that stuff. you got to just be careful how much you put in. But, uh, you know, and a lot is getting with them. You know, we're going to see because they, they did stuff today. You know, tomorrow morning is going to be a good indicator how they feel tomorrow morning. Um, after working out today. You think about maybe moving someone up to tight end or anybody on the roster that could do that if you needed to? Um, well, I mean, yeah, Webb's back now and, and uh, you know, for us. So, I mean, we have we have our, we have our a couple of tight ends and Kendrick Cook. You know, both those guys played some football. So, uh, you know, that was a position. You're four deep with upperclassmen at that position. So, I mean, we still have two tight ends ready to go right now as well as potentially Henderson. A lot of the defensive guys said Brantley Adams is your scout team quarterback, but do you let Dylan do a little bit of that? Just yeah, get him we'll, snaps a little bit. We rotate them by day. Okay. You know, Brantley Adams is today. Uh, you know, a lot of times we'll do Dylan tomorrow and Brantley on Thursday, and you know, just so they get different looks and different. And, and Dylan gets work. Too. It just seems like Dylan has the you know the height, the, you know the, the physical strength and the arm arm strength of Marin Murray a little bit. But, you know, yeah, they're, they're similar the players. They're similar players uh, in that in that way. But you know, Brantley does a great job right. throwing the football for us too. He's, you know, he's got the size of, uh, of a big quarterback. I saw uh, today that Caleb King looks like he's going to play, so it looks like they're going to have a little more depth with the running game. Can you talk about how tough they are to defend that? Uh, tough. I mean, you know, I mean, their starter has been there the whole time uh, with Ely, and he's a good, really good runner. So, uh, you know, just adding the depth and allow them to keep him fresher throughout the game.